Another setback for Boeing Saturday. The launch of its new Starliner space capsule on its first test flight with astronauts on board was scrubbed for the second time in the past four weeks. Two crew members were heading to the International Space Station as Boeing scrambles to gain a greater share of the lucrative NASA business now dominated by Elon Musk's SpaceX. Officials said the mission was halted minutes to go before liftoff by a computer abort system. Tony Bruno is the CEO of United Launch Alliance, a joint venture of Boeing and Lockheed Martin. So you would imagine sort of three big racks side by side in this building with multi, like 15 to 20 cards in them. I don't remember the exact count. And what we're gonna do tonight is we're gonna go in there and troubleshoot the cards. We'll likely have to remove several to evaluate everything, including the chassis, the power supplies, you know, the network communication between them and isolate exactly why that happened. The postponement comes after a previous attempt on May 6th was halted two hours before launch time over a faulty pressure valve. Here's NASA's commercial crew chief, Steve Stitch. I know it's a little disappointing. We were all excited. Butch and Sonny were excited to go fly. Um, this is kind of the way space flight is. I've been, this is my 37th year at NASA today and uh, been doing this human space flight for, thank, thank you, a long, long time. And uh, every time you uh, go to the pad um, for a crewed flight or really any flight, you've got a chance of, of scrubbing. The test flight comes at an especially critical moment for Boeing. Its airplane business is dealing with fallout from a mid-air blowout of a cabin panel door plug on a nearly new 737 MAX 9 in January, as well as previous deadly crashes of two 737 MAX jets. The next attempt to launch the Starliner could come next week.